Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to round two of the Mengu Cube. I'm going to take this Dak Faden. Dak Faden, and it feels so good. All right, let's take Dak Faden and see if we're actually going to be red blue this time. Dak Gang. There's also a Ralzarek, which is relevant. Uh, a Kozilek, a Chandra. Very good blue red planeswalker is available. Two combo pieces for Time Vault in that pack with Kiora's Follower and Dak Faden. Could take Ral, hope for Time Vault. I mean, you're not wrong. Was there Splinter Twin in that pack? Did I miss it? Who knows? <laughs> okay, so real talk, we're definitely taking Time Vault. I imagine Ral Zarek will, re will wheel or Kior's follower, and we are going to maximize our Time Vaultitude. Oh, baby. Wow, that was spicy. What untaps here? What untaps? What untaps? What untaps? Give me an untap, 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 untap. Nothing. Nothing here. Untaps. I do kind of like Breeding Pool because I presume we're going to be a green deck with Time Vault um, because of Kiora's Follower. And it's just nice to pick a land here. We're not going to take Rafellos. Phantasmal Image would probably be my next pick. But... Knowing that we have a time vault now, I think we're going to take the breeding pool. And the, the, it's very real. It's a very real possibility that the Cure's follower comes back because really, who wants that? Who even wants that? Stroke of genius. Mangu, you maniac. Duplicant. Why would they put in time vault? It's too strong. That's what someone else said too. They're like, you know, I like time vault. But uh, I think it's a little strong. I kind of like Prismatic Lens, actually. It does fix for green as well. I don't know how good Mental Misstep is going to be in here. Is there anything that untaps? No. I could take Metal Worker, too. Now I'm going to take the Lens. Lens adds any color mana. That's important, guys. Y'all know about lenses? I'm going to take Factor Fiction here. Factor Fiction just too good. It's basically a tutor. Why isn't Time Vault in Vintage Cube? It's because it's a card you kind of have to build around. Like, if you just throw in a Time Vault into Vintage Cube, it's not as good. Whereas if you, you have to kind of, like, build around it. You have to put in, like, Voltaic Key or Manifold Key, uh, Kiora's Follower. Ral Zarek is, is really only great when you have Time Vault. Um... So it's definitely a card where you really just want to, like, build around it. Red, white, black, red. Codus Lobra. Is there a way to put Valky into play on the backside? I'm sure there is. I'm going to take Cultivate. No, the Power Nine is Time Twister, Ancestral, uh, Time Walk, Black Lotus, and the Five Moxes. That's it. Those are the nine. Kurt, what did you think the nine were if you thought Time Vault was in the nine? So far, we are having nothing to untap our Time Vault with, but that's okay. 
We just don't have to play it. Right now we're just taking teamer things. You up for a commander deck or is that, um, A, I, I don't, I'm not a big commander fan. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like every time people ask me to do commander stuff, like sometimes I'll do it, but I know I don't have a, like it's not really my thing. So I do it begrudgingly. And I feel like that's worse for everybody. You know, I just don't want to do it and then like not, I don't want to do it if I can't do it to the best of my ability, you know? I don't think about it. <laughs> okay, Carl. <laughs> Carl, what did you think was in the Power 9? Uh, I didn't really. Oh, Tropical Island. Oh, boy. I mean, yeah. 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 Our mana base is looking strong for a blue-green deck, and we don't really even need to play deck. Yeah, we do. There's no reason not to. We already have Cultivate and Prismatic Lens for one red, so. Time Twister is a Power 9 stepchild, unless you're playing Commander. It's it's your combo, boy. Okay, so the Ral Zarek did not make it. It's funny because Time Twister is considered like the Power Stepchild. Um, but it's literally the most expensive piece of power second to Lotus because of Commander. Uh, Ulamog. I feel like Ulamog's probably worth hedging here. We can take an Ulamog and then if we hit like a channel, it's real sweet. What if I see my commander deck, which is Primal Surge lands and nothing else but creatures? Well, I don't know. What if you did? Oko is in this cube. I'll take Sword. I could take Oath. Uh, did I play in Legends? No, none. I didn't. I don't even have it installed. Like, I'm not going to play... Like, the thing about Legends is that I'm not going to play a game just because it has the word magic attached to it. Because, in all truth, games that have the word magic attached to them that aren't actual magic the card game have historically been pretty shitty. <laughs> like, no offense to magic, but they're usually not very good. And I heard not great things about this, and they're also not paying me to play it. So, meh? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Right, it looks like a Diablo clone, except for Diablo is so much better. So it's like, oh, I just played Diablo. Tinker gets Time Vault. That's interesting. Tinker also gets like another thing. Ooh. Course of portals. Oh god, did I just get this? I don't even know what Project Diablo is. I'm gonna take the Tinker. I think the upside is too high. Urza. Hmm. Well, I think we're slowly becoming an Urza deck, and I think it's the best card for us in this pack. So okay. I'll take it. I'm gonna, our deck's looking pretty sweet. I think I have Outshined by Soundgarden stuck in my head. Outshined, Outshined. It's a fan server remake with added content and continued patches. What does it... So here's the thing about Diablo. Everyone actually loves Diablo 2. They go batshit crazy for Diablo 2. It has like the biggest fan base. But one of the things I love most about games is upgrades graphically and like gameplay wise. So I'm actually a bigger Diablo 3 fan than I am a Diablo 2 fan because it just looks better. It's easier on the eyes. I actually have a hard time playing games that don't look great, that look dated. Um, They just don't 
appeal to me as much. <laughs> and uh, so it's a lot hard. Like, it's like playing Mario Brothers, like the original Super Mario Brothers. Like, I'm like... I mean, if you guys can give legitimate issues with Diablo 3 that make it not playable or enjoyable, I mean, like, that's... <sighs> escape is real good. I want to take Escape because it's another way to find things like Time Walk. Turnabout... Unto oh, we're going to take Seagate because we have Time Walk right now. Mario 3 and Super Mario World I can, uh, Mario 3 and Super Mario World are both insanely playable to me because they look how they're meant to look. They have a cartoon like fun aspect to their look like they don't look dated because because pixel games and like sp sprite based games are still they still look good to me. Whereas like Diablo 3 just looks like an upgraded version of Diablo 2. You're 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 literally trying to to utilize the best graphics of the time. Destroy an artifact against haste. So this is a better manic vandals. That's interesting. Oh, I like I like Ugin. I think this I think this Ugin is great. I love this Ugin. Could take Winter Orb because we have Urza. But I really just like this Ugin, to be honest with you. Mario 2 is great as well. But Mario 2 also has a place in my heart. Yeah, I'm going to take the Ugin. Oh, Taiga's nice here. Yeah, let's take this Taiga. Make sure there's nothing else that's like compelling for us. I would like more ways to untap this guy. It sucks that we missed the Ral Zarek, but... Uh, control magic. Yes, sir. Like, we're also missing like Deceiver Exarch, Pestermite... Zealous conscripts. Like, where are these cards? Show me them. Bring them to me. Let's take Binding. We can splash a black. We have an Elves of Deep Shadow. We have a Prismatic Lens. We have a Cultivate. Recurring Nightmare. We could have Showdown and Escape. Wild. I mean, isn't Diablo 4 also coming out? Guys, I'll just play Diablo 4. Yeah, obviously all the games that are announced currently are, are not going to be out for like three years. Oh, Turnabout came back? I mean, Turnabout literally says take an extra turn when you have Time Vault out, right? Like, that's pretty good. Yeah, Blizzard is known to delay, delay games by months so long as they're, like, done well when they come out, so... And last pick, Palace Jailer, is fucking criminal, dude. All right. We're almost a high tide deck. Like, we can almost go, like, high tide, turn about, untap all our lands. Stroke of genius. Hmm. I do like a cryptic command. Oh, Zealous Conscripts, though? Oh, yeah, Zealous Conscripts. Zealous Conscripts. I mean, it's, it combos with Time Vault. We're actually not even a Tinker. We have, like, two artifacts right now, unfortunately. 
Yeah, we're going to take the conscripts. There's a lot of cards that could come back here. Glorybringer, Rootbound Crag, Cryptic Command, True Name Nemesis. I took True Name Nemesis out of my cube a long time ago because that guy was just not fun. Well, I hope Temple of Epiphany comes back because right now we're taking Mystic Confluence without fail. I have missed Mystic Confluence since they took it out of the other cube. And the reason they took it out was because it was bugged and they replaced it with Commit to Memory, but then they never put it back. So... Same thing with Fiery Confluence. There's Fiery Confluence in here too. I'm actually looking forward to a week of this cube. Hmm. I could just take Kiki Jiki. Triple, triple red seems a little hard for our deck though with only a Taiga. I could just take Preordain here. Could also take Regrowth because we have Time Walk. Uh, I kind of like Regrowth a little better. Yeah, let's Regrowth. Regrowth goes up significantly when you have Time Walk in your graveyard. Or in your in your library, I should say. In your deck. Manglehorn, when it enters the battlefield, you may destroy an artifact. Destroy an artifact. And, or you can give this guy haste, but I think the ability to make your opponent's artifacts come into play tapped is just better. Plus, like this is going to be easier to cast. And I like that we have three red cards right now that are all single red. Which helps with our Taiga and our Prismatic Lens and our Cultivate. Uh, we have, no, we have Turnabout to untap. We have Zealous Conscripts to target our own Time Vault and untap it. We have Kiora's Follower to untap. Jeez, I like Karn here. Inkwell Leviathan is sweet, but like, what are we sacrificing to get it out? Like, nothing. Again, two artifacts is rough here. Dragon does not target your own thing. What does that mean? Goldspan Dragon? What are you saying right now? Hmm. Coalition Relic could just be good. Uh, I think we're just taking Karn, actually. Karn is just great, right? I mean, it's got to be better than Coalition Relic. Ooh, Rexage or Acidic Slime. I mean, I would take... I would take Thirst for Knowledge, but we've already established that we have very few artifacts. To pitch. <sighs> Also, Rexage destroys an enchantment, so I'd actually rather play that than Manglehorn here. I kind of like Basalt Monolith because we have Karn, Ugin. I don't know if we're going to play Ulmog here. That's not Thirst's fault. It's true. I just think Thirst is worse when I'm not discarding an artifact, when I'm discarding two cards. Plus, we already have Factor Fiction. We have Mystic Confluence. We have Dak. Like, we have a good amount of car Stork of Genius if we want to play it. Do we just want Foreign Clicks? We have six creatures. I think I'm just taking Foreign Clicks because it's a fat threat. Oh, a Snapcaster. We also have Time Walk and Regrowth. Snap the Regrowth. Regrowth Time Walk. Huh. Yeah, I'm just taking Snap here. Nothing untaps, right? Yeah, I think we're I think we're past our... <gasps> We're living our best life here. Wow, Cryptic Command came back? Holy bajolies. I mean, I love Rootbound Crag, but this is a Cryptic Command. We already got Mystic Confluence, too. Jeez. We're very much less than Urza deck, but Urza's still good. I think we just take Rootbound Crag here, I'm gonna be honest. Like... No. 
cryptic it is. Oh, Windswept Heath actually gets uh, Taiga and Tropical Island. That's surprisingly good. Kiki Jiki came back. Hmm. Are we a Eureka deck? We have Karn, Ugin, Ulamog, Vorinclek. I'm going to take the Eureka. Maybe. I think it's better than trying to cast a triple red card in Kiki Jiki. Like, that's gonna, it's going to really mess our mana base up. Master Slash. Just take Inkwell, I guess. Sacred Foundry. We can get it with Windswept Heath. Does that do anything? Eh, not necessarily. Like, we can already get Taiga with Windswept Heath, so. I mean, we have Savannah and Sacred Foundry now, so we could actually just play Palace Drummer. Inkwell's a decent tinker target, but we're not tinkering when we only have two artifacts. <laughs> it's like, just not ideal. If we had anything as a tinker, well, there it is. There it is. This is 24 cards, and I think we're cutting Ulamog. So we have eight creatures. And infinite time walks. Hmm. I am tempted to play Eureka, but I don't think we're I don't think we're there yet. I do kind of like Leo, or, uh, I do kind of like um, having like Manglehorn as a second cult, a second uh, Rex Age, but I think this is probably fine. Uh, this, 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 this. Two red. Oh, we could probably get away with two red here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a lot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ten, nine. Seven, eight. Or actually, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight might be fine. We only have like four green cards. Like we're very, very much more a blue deck here. We have all of these double blue cards. And this is what, one, two, three, four, five, six red. I think six red is fine because we still want Dak Faden early. All right, let's hope this deck does something. Like if we just get Cure's Follower Time Vault, like it's game over, right? If they don't have an answer in hand and the mana to cast it, we just untap our Time Vault, take an extra turn, untap our Time Vault, take an extra turn, like... It's pretty insane. It also seems way stronger. Like it's it's literally like it's literally like Splinter Twin, but it costs two mana and two mana instead of three mana and four mana. Or three mana, five mana. Like it's literally just a two card combo that wins the game on the spot. Let's do it. And we have the combo in hand. So if we go this, I guess we just want to, I guess we want to start with this because like if we play this immediately, we can untap it. Oh my God, is this going to happen? Is this real? Is this really going to happen, guys? <sighs> I hope they just tap out for something irrelevant, like a Sylvan Caryatter or something. <laughs> oh, that baby Robbie moat. Such quality. Like, even if we don't do this, we can still get to... Okay, they're dead. Land? 
I wanted a land so we can play around days. <laughs> this is so stupid, dude. Why is this in your cube? Are you fucking insane? <laughs> Oh God. Jesus. Come on, Mengu. I mean, there's 50 things that could have stopped me, sure, but, like, they have two mana, right? And I mean, like, you know. Okay, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Oh, wow. Lightning Greaves. Watch them go land, Lodestone Golem. I'm just going to drop this guy first. Whoa! <laughs> you got it. I mean, we got regrowth. It's all good. It's all good, baby. If <laughs> this deck we drafted was a butt. <laughs> Uh, let's get, let's get infinite islands. This deck wants islands for days. Like it. So what, I hope they play something big. We Mystic Snake it, and then we get to play Ugin. That's the world I want to live in. Come on, Snake. Do it. Uh, one, two, three, four. That's good enough. To, I think that's good enough. I don't know what they're going to do. They could go Armageddon or something, which I guess is also bad, and I'd rather counter that. <laughs> they're going to go Armageddon now. Oh, shit. I got three lands in hand. It's got to be good, right? Maybe they don't go Armageddon because we counted their Crucible. Um, Yeah, this is fine. I want to get the... Maybe not. Yeah, I'll just take two here. They have two cards in hand. Like, I don't want to give them another card here. Time walk? Wasn't a time walk. Oh, nice. Well, it's another land. Well, we only lose two lands here, and that's okay. You just chump this guy forever, basically. That's okay. Time walk. Time walk. Snapcaster. Another land. Okay, well, at least we're hitting them here. I've seen someone kind of kick off the spell twice. Five, six, seven. Okay, well. I'm not going to Snapcaster cultivate here. That doesn't seem great.
That is an aggressive emote. <laughs> oh, dear. They're just giving me cards, man. Buddy, I'll never let you kill my Eugene. Oh boy, that's a good one. Welp. I don't know what this is for 10,000 mana. So they have four mana, they just get to replay this. Sure. <laughs> okay, so they have Tolarian, Island, 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 Workshop, Greaves. Solemn. That's what I know about. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sweet. <laughs> that just seemed really good for us. I don't know. So, Island Island. Keep my snake up in the dead of winter. Uh, what do we got? 12 cards. We're going to get word of one, two, three, four, five. Four lands seems fine here. Greaves. That's good. That is good. Prismatic lands. Mm -hmm. Workshop is gone. Solemn is gone. Oh, I know four of their seven cards, I guess. <sighs> yep. I don't know how Island is better than Talarian Academy there, but what do I know? Oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh. So we got three, four, five, six. So next time they just get to play Sundering Titan again. That seems pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Talarian Academy is seven, eight. Yeah, we're just gonna concede here. Like I'm just not gonna deal with the the stupid fat daddy. Man, where's Dak Fate? Oh, actually, let's bring in both of these guys now that we've seen their deck. Um, take out Stroke. Man, having Revelers, Manglehorn, Rexage, and Dak Fate is pretty good. Take out Vorn Clicks. That guy's kind of expensive. Yeah, I'll keep this. We do need one more land. Do we think they have spell pierce? No, not anymore. Sure. Oh boy. That's a that's an opening, all right. Do do 
sure hope we can get a third land since they have six <sighs> boy oh good how nice oh boy we're having a good time yep yeah, always skill when it comes to match losses i'm always outplayed I guess we're taking 10 here. Five now. Hit a land, maybe. Five another time. Hit a land, maybe. And then we can play one of our three drops. Ah, good times. Fun games. Cool. Sweet deck. Must be nice. What are lands again? I don't know. Oh boy. Good times. All right. <laughs> oh Jesus. Kill me now. Um sounds actually decent to this I think it might just be snapcaster here I mean all of these are good on like we can keep this up on turn four let's drop mystic snake that's also fine I feel like this might be my buddy Josh Monks. Okie dokie. Well, next turn we got a Mystic Confluence, so that's kind of cool. Hey, Chicken Nugget Man. Hey, it's a Nerza. Good for you, boy. Yeah, we're going to pass here. It's never good to play escape when you've already played a land. Play escape, don't play your land, and then play two lands off of the escape. It's also good to do it when you have a bunch of free mana. I don't like that. So you can add three. It's complicated. You know what? Sure. I'm going to let it resolve. If you want to spend two mana to equip that thing. Okay. Cast... Turn two of these boys. One, two. Bounce them both. Oh, that's going to be good soon. Let's hit a time walk and a land Thank and a land so that we can go escape to the wilds, land, land, time walk. Okay, well, that's three, four, four. Five, escape. I can escape. Oh, that's actually really good. 
So we're only going to play lands here, I think. Hinterland Harbor. Windswept Heath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next turn we'll have eight. So I think we're going to have to forsake one of these cards. Let's go get a trop, though. Oh, Skofasco, thank you for the resub, buddy. 12 months. What a time to be alive. Uh-oh. Things are happening. Yep, that card's fun with, with Umazawa's Jitte. Let's get a Trop. No, let's get a Breeding Pool because we're not going to use it. I'd rather draw the Trop than draw the Breeding Pool. So, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play the land. Could just play Vorinclex. Vorinclex is actually not bad because it does... One, two, three, four. And then we have one... We have four left. Four on clicks is nice because it turns off Jitte. Hmm. Control magic can't steal that guy. We can steal Urza. The problem is if we don't play Voron clicks now, we lose it. If we had one more mana this turn, it'd be great. We can play our Urza for four. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then we get a creature, and then we can go one, two, three, four. Tap the creature, one more land, play Boron Clex as well. Oh, boy. That's, that's real good. <laughs> what is even happening? All of these matchups, I want Manglehorn and the Revelers in, in, the, in the deck, apparently. I guess they still get one token. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's pretty good. We have easy discards here, but still. <sighs> yep, yeah, True Name Nemesis. Super fun magic card. Wow. Do we get a time walk into a factor fiction into a Kiora's follower time vault situation? Treasure cruise, you got it. A lot of things happening right now. Turnabout's actually pretty interesting. Interesting. I guess we're just hoping they don't have a counter spell here. Fingers crossed. Also, Factor Fiction could hit a time walk here. Or a Snapcaster in a turnabout, which would have enough mana for one, two, three, four for fact, one, two, three, four for turnabout, and then snap here. They are X Crassus, sure. So this only gets two counters? Sure, that's fine. 
And Vorn Click's doing some work here. That's interesting. How much does that? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Let's fact main phase. There's the time walk. I think that does it. I think time walk just wins us the game. <laughs> oh, well, I will. Yeah, it's definitely this. Like, um, actually, is it? If we take Dak Faden, we can steal sword, equip sword to Vor and Clex, untap all our lands. It's got to be time walk, though, right? Okay, we win. <laughs> Oh, seems good. Time walks a hell of a card, guys. Okay, so they're also a blue-green deck, so we'll bring this in. Take out Stroke. Can you guys hear Hunter? He's being real loud right now. Um, We're definitely bringing in Mangle and Revelers. Both of those guys are bananas. Take out Karn, maybe? Eh, Karn's good, though. Maybe we take out our own Urza. I don't love it. Sure, this should be fine. I don't know. So tired of these fucking hands, dude. So tired of these fucking hands, dude. We're on the draw. I might just keep this actually because we have time walk prismatic lens. Keep ship escape. Any one land lets us play. Uh, yeah. So now we can go lens into cultivate. Imagine making a card. Well, at the time when there's like 200 cards, like what's the worst you're doing at the time? Like uh, when Richard Garfield made time walk, like what's the worst creature you're going to have on the board? You know, like a a three, four for five mana. Like, it's not great. I actually do think time walk was probably fair back in, back in the day. I'm actually going to time walk here just so we can mountain Dak steal their Jitte. That seems really good. And then we can go lens into cultivate. Come on, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Also, time work in our graveyard when we have both Snapcaster and Regrowth is just fine. So if we play these three, we're going to hit two lands in hand, which is actually fine. So we can go like this. Prismatic lens. Cultivate, forest, island, island in play, choose myself, pitch two lands. Now we get to go regrowth time walk. Okie dokie. Or we can just keep up snap. We can just keep up mystic snake actually. Here comes an Urza. Treasure cruise. Oh yeah, I'm fine with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Okay, so one, two, play our land, regrowth time walk. Now we get to keep up Mystic Snake and Factor Fiction. 
Oh, what up, Medina Streams? John, what up, my dude? Always good seeing you, buddy. Thank you for the raid, man. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Regret the time walk. Yeah, that's correct. That's what's happening. Hard choices. It was either, well, it was either cultivate or time walk. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows, though? You could could have gone either way. It was a coin flip, I would say. I'm walking here. You got to think of the land sometimes. Yep, you got it. Oh, what is happening now? Do I get to counter an Urza with a Mystic Snake, then equip it with an Umazawa's Jitte, then time walk in Factor Fiction? Oh, boy. What's happening? God, Mystic Snake, are you doing are you doing me work are you doing work for me? That's fine. I don't care about that. None of these things are exciting. If they just don't if they just don't do anything, we're just gonna factor fiction. Factor fiction it is. I mean we have to hit like we have Manglehorn, Rexage, and Revelers. Like we have to hit one of them, right? Backdy wackdy. <laughs> split it. Just fucking split it. God. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Okay, we're definitely screen capping that and sending it to Mengu. Wow, that was, that's hilarious. Oh, he made the perfect pile. <laughs> oh, man. That's good stuff, dude. You know what? I would have conceded there, too. I just gave away some of those lands on Medina Stream. Which lands? I don't even know what that means. Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh, the unstable ones. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, those are good. I mean, they're John Avon, right? So. <sighs> yeah, I'll keep this. Got a Dak Faden. So we can get a Taiga or a Tropical Island. Based on our deck, we're definitely getting Tropical Island. I still want to do a podcast with John. I just have, uh, I've been super flaky about starting it. So that's my fault. And uh, John, I apologize. <laughs> Let's go get Trump. Wow. I gave up. <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. It was my fault. This is actually not bad because we have two very easy uh, easy cards to, to pitch in the trash can. Um, I think it's just the two forests. You're going to steal my Dak Faden? I don't think that's a thing you can do, but who knows? Maybe. Maybe it is. It ain't. You did nothing. I mean, we could just play land, keep up factor fiction. Time walk. Is it going to be? 
Oh, you're going to have Vendillion click. You're going to Pestermite me. So you're saying we're probably dead? Okay. Well, that is... That is a thing. Oh, we're no longer that dead. That's pretty cool. Um, well... We're pitching here. I want to play Lens. I think we can get rid of Kiora's follower here. And probably Zealous Conscripts. Play this. Play Lens. Walk the times. Now, like, we have three draws to hit Snapcaster slash Regrowth. I'm jiggling. Oh, the, the legs? Oh, we can just steal this now. <laughs> That's actually four, five. We're one mana away from being able to, like... Yeah, I'm probably just going to pitch two lands here, to be quite honest. What's happening to Kerwit? Someone just scheduled a 7.30 meeting so I need to go to bed. Kerwit, have a good night, buddy. You still get like seven hours of sleep. That's not too bad. Not ideal. We're stealing this because if they have Splinter Twin in hand, we're just dead. And I don't want to be dead. I don't want to be dead. Time Walk was a good draw and it kept us alive. Well, I'm sure they agree. <laughs> <sighs> Green, what is even happening? Well, regrowth and uh, Snapcaster just got worse because they stole our our time walk. Oh, are they gonna are they gonna kiki jiki here? No, they're gonna bribery us. Well, that sucks. Oh, God, I guess they're gonna get a Voran Clex. Well, this is going well. Our own time walk into bribery. Seems good. Yep, to the surprise of no one. I mean, we block here, we still take six, seven, eight. We block here, we still take six. Dak is not long for this world. What if we had Splinter Twin? What if we had Kiki Jiki in our deck and we can just pester mine our own Kiki Jiki? That'd be cool, right? I'm not a big fan of Stroke of Genius, and I'm not sure if I like it even in the deck. Uh, let's go Hinterland Harbor. This guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well. I don't know how to get my own Voren Clex back here, but this did dig five cards deep. Oh, I guess we can Ugin... Comes into play with two counters. We can't do anything, actually. That's pretty rough. We can Karn. Karn comes into play with three. We're just trading Karn for Vorinclex, which means bribery. We traded a bribery for a Karn. And also a Dak Faden, I guess. You just take eight here. <laughs> Okie dokie. You just take prismatic lens here. 
Oh wow. They get the ultimate deck. They they didn't though, but they could have. <sighs> Fuck, dude, them eating that time walk is like the just so bad in this whole game. Um Also, stealing our Vorinclex is also fairly terrible. I mean, this at least puts us on a little bit more even of a playing field. I mean, we don't get Ugin or Rexage anymore. That sucks. We can snap Escape to the Wilds. It's not terrible. Maybe it's terrible. I don't know. Snap is love, but Snap's even more... Like, we have Cryptic Command, we have Mystic, Mystic Confluence, like, we have a bunch of good spells to hit with Snap, but... Uh, okay, you're just gonna burn me out. Got it. Uh, so would have hit that. Yeah, alright. Well, that was the thing, alright. <sighs> counterspell, counterspell, counterspell. Where, where, are the, where are my counterspells? Nobody knows. I almost want to take Warren Clicks out because of that. Like, then their bribery is just not as good. But then our deck isn't as good either. What are you bringing in those? That's the exact question. Like, could bring in Deputy, but we just saw Fiery Confluence and Lightning Bolt. I, I like Leovold, but I wish our two splashes weren't white. Actually, Leovold seems pretty decent. We just have no way to cast it as a black card. Eh, that's rough. I also don't love Stroke of Genius in here, unfortunately. What if we just Eureka? We bring an Inkwell, Ulamog, and then we try to Eureka. Is that a thing we can do? Then we have Ugin, Karn, Vorinclex. I'm going to live that dream. This could be our last shot. Take out Rex Sage because you don't even, I don't even care about you, bro. You won't. I just did it, buddy. Uh, I'll keep this. One more land we had to cultivate. They do have bribery, right? But like we have Eureka, so it's like I mean, you just want to hit it sooner. We're going to cultivate. Probably get a third blue and a single red would be my guess. I mean, there, my, my, th my thinking was, was Eureka was cheaper. Okay, now we're just going to... Uh, blue and a green... Put the blue in play. 
I mean, having Mystic Snake up here is pretty strong, to be honest. Like, as long as they don't play, like, something really good like Dak. Oh, that's fine. Oh, Jitte. This is the second Jitte match in a row? That's interesting. Well, that is a thing. I think we're going to pass. We're going to keep up Mystic Snake and Factor Fiction. Oh, boy. Because if we can Factor Fiction, hit a bunch of fat daddies and just put them in our hand. If they want to equip Jitte and, and play it, like that's totally fine with me. Here comes Jitte. Oh, you got it. Put it on that snake. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. You got it. So many counters. Such strong snake. Inkwell Leviathan is probably going to be a freebie for whatever they put in our hand. And now we're actually like Ulamog Inkwell Urza would be insane. Oh boy, this is it. This is what we planned for. They also might have even taken Briber out seeing that like One, two, wait, we can actually make it so that we keep, oh, we need one more green. <gasps> Not if they get the lens, actually. Really? That's interesting. It's an interesting split. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we only have, we're gonna have eight mana, but only two green, not three green. I still think Inkwell is the better play here. Let's do it. Let's live this dream. Phantasmal image, no. I guess we just get to. Oh, they're gonna take it. They're gonna. They're gonna name Inkwell. Sure. We can actually. Zealous conscripts around Ulamog to get that trigger. One, one, two, three, four. Interesting. This lets us keep up Mystic Snake, which is pretty sick. <laughs> this situation where like just drawing time walk would be very, very helpful. <laughs> Man, the, the treasure token letting us keep up Mystic Snake is real sweet. This is 15 damage, though. I guess they can't actually equip the Inkwell because it has Shroud. Uh, you can have a Temple. They played a land before activating Karn. I 
actually, maybe it was a, like the, I don't know. Being able to keep up counter spells is pretty good. Putting Karn to one is also pretty good. If we attack Karn with Ulamog, they probably just sacrifice it. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I can't block either of these, so I guess we're just taking a billion. Yep. 15, go to four. This is a fiery confluence. Try to kill us. That would be super cool. Yep. We're still alive, bro. Come on, time walk. Time walk, time walk. Four or five, six. We have eight mana, so we could actually go factor fiction, hit time walk. Regrowth, factor fiction, hit time walk. That's a thing. Let's play land. One, two, three. Uh, actually, we're going to go one, two, regrowth, fact effect. Two, three, four. Oh, well, that's the end. <laughs> Dang it. So close, dude. So they block here. They take seven, eight, nine, ten, and they can even kill this. So they take ten, they lose four permanents. And then they kill us with what's on board. Eh. What can you do? What does this split even matter? I have two mana. I'm tapped out. I'm dead on board. Just, just let's let's get on with it. Maybe we're just hoping for time walk there. Then we get to time walk again, but. The stupid coiling oracle, man. So, like, even if we use this, they would sack one, two, three, four, let's say, right? They would still have these two. They would still have Karn, Treasure, and all of these. So, they'd still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, you'd make them sack four more. They would just be able to go sack Coiling Oracle, Jitte, Karn, Treasure. God, if I had a way to deal with this stupid 1-1, one, one, or if this Emrakul had, this Ulamog had Trample... Much different game. Yep, that's the end. One, two, not nearly as fun. Thank you guys for watching. Eureka was still worth it. I'm still not going to regret that, but eh, what can you do? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.